Hello, everyone. Hello, good to see you. I know it's been a while since we've had a host chat. I'm super excited. Obviously, sorry, I was running back and forth to my desk. So yes, the one and only John Behrman will be joining us momentarily. Uh, Scott's bringing him up from the studio. He's just finishing up with Tap the show right now. Have you? I really don't have time for me to get my breath. I'm excited. This is like as exciting as my interview with Ray Park. So I'm trying not to fangirl too much. So if you guys are uh, looking forward to chatting with him, you can you can try to get him to spill some Shortwood secrets. He seems nice enough. Let's see. Oh right, Lord. All right. So yes, if you are tuning in or watching us on Stickham's front page, John Berman from Torchwood and Doctor Who, and Attack of the Show will be here in just a few moments. Yes, the face up bow. We're gonna have to ask about that. That's a good question. The face up bow. So prepare, prepare your questions. I'm excited. Now I'm a fan girl. Um. Hmm. Wow, it's been so long since we've done this. Have I been? Eh, up and down. Depends on the day. Um, been, uh, been a little down on myself lately with just stuff that's going on in my personal life. But then I woke up this morning and I went, you know what? I'm interviewing John Behrman. This is what makes life worth living. So, yay. Yeah, we have can slots, so feel free to hop in. and I'm going to try not to, Jeff. I do. I do pretty well. I think. So, purple, you put your purple in the back. Nice. Mine's in the front where everyone can see it. Oh, my roots are growing up. I don't know. Um, so, I, I guess we need to just give you a little bit of background about Mr. Berman. Um, he has an extensive background actually in theater. He's been on Broadway and West, and West End a lot. Um, he probably got his fame well, you know, um, on US TV and, and uh, well I guess on British TV too uh, playing Captain Jack Harkness in Doctor Who and on Torchwood um, he's also done uh, competitions like singing competition stuff that he's judged in the UK uh, but we can ask him all about that yes, sir. 1889 yeah well he said he's what 95 so we'll see oh silent you're just going to make this chat so very very interesting aren't you Chats. Oh, right. Highlander. Oh, you're so sweet, Ocean Chevy. How did? And he did the game show, Scott or Scott or not? <laughs> That's awesome. Well, you should you should bring that up. So we're just uh, waiting right now. Hopefully, it won't be more than like five minutes or so. So I'm just here to warm you up and have fun. I'm excited. Just tweeted the junior high pic. You found it. Someone found it with the with the bad curly hair. I had the ugly glasses in junior high. That's the girl I was. <sighs> What's ball man? That's not a street around here. Let's see, not a high school pic, but fun to look at. Indeed, and purple hair in college. Briefly, but not in high school. Nope. Well, okay. Have I played the Mass Effect 3 DLC? I have. Leviathan, not worth it. Not worth your 10 bucks. Okay. Um, can we record this chat? I will ask them if we can record. Thank you for reminding me. Um, it is not worth it. No. Okay, basically, when you, if you play the first game, there's this spear that you find. And this like dialogue box that comes up, and it's kind of interesting, but you don't really see that much about it. Um, and then that's what like this is the mythology that this DLC is about. It's about that sphere thing that you find. And honestly, uh, not as compelling as I thought it would be. Really not. Like it was okay. I guess there was content, but I'm really not sure it was ten bucks worth. I'm smiling. I'm excited. So. Uh, not all these sessions are backed up on our account. We do record some of them. Torchwood Exodus Code. Well, you can ask him. You, Jeff. You can ask him when he shows. So, we need more people in the room. Y'all should be, like, tweeting out, like, oh my god, he's in here. 
Like, there's, there's like millions of Scoobians out there. You should be in here right now. Too much. I did call my mom. I was like, Mom, just tune in. But she didn't pick up the phone. It's too bad. A unicorn. It's about the unicorn here. How come I didn't call it? Because I don't have your number. That's why. Are you at work? Gosh, I hope so. I hope so. So for those of you um, who are not as familiar with G4, we are a TV network. Uh, we are a cable network. We have a show called Attack of the Show, which is a daily live magazine show. And we've had a lot of guest hosts all summer long. John Berman has been one of them. And he seems to be having a lot of fun. So, awesome enough. Aw, you love us, Autumn Rain. We love you, too. He's like, he's tweeting. Okay, hopefully he's tweeting about this. On the top pole, what? He loved turtles. Yes. Oh, okay, good. Oh, Bobby, yes. Mr. Two, buddy. Mr. Two. Okay, good. Wasn't sure if that Wowzers man was wearing pants or not. Just a little concerned. Just a little. <laughs> Kevin Pereira guest host. Wouldn't that be awesome? Where's my guest? I don't know. Uh, You're not my guest. I am not John Berman. He is my not. first name does start with a J. Yeah, J O. Joe. So I could have gone down and done my reps. Whatever. Reps go okay? Yeah. Yeah. So I just got recently got this guy into Doctor Who. Like, a few weeks before Behrman was first here. So, like, how funny is that? Our silence. I know your real name. And I can tell <gasps> everyone your real name. So be nice. Oh, what? No. Hang on. Give me some that. Thank you. I already have two days, it's fine. Okay. Now you got that weird parasite oh, from the Oh, because you got her very, I'm going to get eaten from the inside out. And if you were watching Attack today, you probably Yeah, it was really funny because when the trailer was going on, I was like, where's your room up? I was like, try me, guys. Sorry, I won't look over your shoulder to over there. Well, no, you should look over there. Well, I will. I'll, I'll, I'll try. I'm leaving people waiting. What's going on? What's going on is that, uh... John Barrowman is scheduled to come up and join us for chat tonight, so... We're just waiting for him to come up from downstairs. Because they have to do this thing. They take off his microphone. And then if there's anything else we gotta do... I don't know. I don't know. I've been a Doctor Who fan since the 80s. Well, then you'll be very, very excited for this. Just with my... Esther, I'm excited, too. Really excited. I, I was saying, this is right up there. We both look amazing. See, oh, you know, we are having uh, Maggie Siv on the show tomorrow, and I uh -huh. wrote my song. I should have uh, wore this one tomorrow. I yeah. think I'm just going to have to wash it and just wear it. I didn't want to wear a Doctor Who shirt today. Or my, I do have a Torchwood shirt today. I thought that would be a little too fangirly. I try to be a little more professional with my guests. Try. Mm -hmm. Being the keyword. Yeah. Doesn't always work. But uh, I wish I could make him sing. We will talk about his singing later. He's a fantastic singer. Ask him for a lesson. Um, but unfortunately, there's this thing called copyright, so we can't just, you know, go about and sing anything that we want, because that would be... I don't know how much G4 pays for hosting. <laughs> Paid? Moonwalking Doug Bachman. Yep. <laughs> it's not a G4 chat without Moonwalking Doug Bachman. Well, I noticed strolled by here earlier, probably checking to see if you could get a glimpse. That's okay. Yes. So this guy told me that Doug would love. What? You can't sing random... Yes, you can sing random stuff that you make up. Barrowman Day. Barrowman Day. I like it. I like it. Someone I wonder if that person made an account just for today. Oh, are you learning... It is like it's Barrowman Week here in G4. It is. Pretty much. I say celebration. It's a pair of us. Is that him? Yes. There he is. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, Courtney. How are you? Good. Good. Come have a seat. Great. Thing. Um, I warmed the seat up for you. You oh, did. That's yes. so sweet, Josh. What do you want me? Let's come here. We are chatting live with the internet. Great. Someone's um, got their shirt off. Must be a fan. Uh, do you mind if we record this? Not Is at all. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. And what's my... Uh, do I, are, you, are you going yet? Well, yes. Okay, we, great. We are live. This here's camera here. And, and there's the internet. And they're going to chat with us and ask you silly questions. And I'll ask you silly questions about... 
Pretty and pretty they can much. hear me they, via, yes. you don't have to type. No, we don't have oh, to so type. Oh, so it's like a web chat. Yes. Oh, awesome. There's a live web chat right now. You could sing if you wanted to, just mind the copyright stuff. No, I'm not going to sing, because that's the sole reason of the copyright. Oh, you can hear me. Great. Yes, so uh, well, go on. I was going to say, for those who are not as familiar with your work, you do have a lot of experience with Broadway and West End. Yep. And you you know how to butt soon, sir. I do, but I'm not going to sing for you. Oh. No, because, yeah. I tried. It's, a, it's, I an tried entirely di it's an entirely different thing being here. You know, yeah. um, you know, it's reading the questions here. They're, they're not, you know, they're coming in quickly. Okay. But if I, we, yeah, sorry. If we miss your question, you can type it again. We'll, we'll try to get to it. I've, first of all, I know you'll all ask about the next Torchwood season, the Do Doctor Who 50th anniversary, and uh, if Jack is coming back on to Doctor Who, but I have no answers for you. Oh. And uh, uh, you better, so if everybody just keeps repeating those questions, which is happening, yes. uh, it's probably not, you're not going to get anything answered, because I don't have any information, and when I do have information, you guys will all be the first to know. Okay. I did see a thing about um, uh, Exodus Code, which yes. is the book that my sister and I have written, uh, the Torchwood novel, and it's a, a story about Captain Jack, and uh, William Gibson, who I just interviewed on the show, we actually took one of his quotes, and we use it in the first uh, part of, to introduce the first chapter, um, quote off the top of my head, because I've just run from the studio, but it's about where... Uh, you know, time and memory are, are two completely different things and how memories change right. over the course of time. Uh, so that'll give you a little clip into what the book is about. So Someone was asking, is it before or after Miracle Day? Uh, it has no relevance. You've, well, it, you know, I don't want to tell you anything. No spoilers. It, 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 no spoilers at all for it because um, it's not out until the end of uh, uh, October, I think it is. Don't quote me on that because I always get the date wrong. But ask my, you know, check out my sister. She's at at Barrowman Crime, uh -huh. and uh, any other information if you go on my Twitter page, Actually, which yeah, let's, is... Let's put up your Twitter. What my Twitter is at team uh -huh. underscore Barrowman. Uh -huh. and, okay. yeah. and my sister, if you want. There you go. Team Barrowman. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, uh, who on the torture team was responsible for keeping the weevils in stylish jumpsuit and soap <laughs> pajamas? <laughs> I think that was just a choice. Uh, because the head, it was the boiler suits were what we use, gray boiler suits, and it covered up to the neck because the prosthetics right. on the guys came down uh, just to their neck. Somebody just yeah. walked up behind us. They do that. Because That's we're camera. talking. And, they, and then they walked and they, they turned. They and they're like, oh my God, is that John <laughs> Um So how are you enjoying EOTS? Because you seem to be having a blast. I always have fun, and I think um, uh, Attack of the Show is a show where you can have fun, and also, to be honest with you, we're talking about stuff that I like. Good. And we're talking Good. about things that, that uh, are part of my world, which is, uh, uh, you know, everything geek, everything nerd, and everything, you know, kind of techy. and that's every, you know, listen, everybody thinks that's a very small group of people. It's not. It's not. It's huge. It's a huge audience out there. And uh, Attack of the Show covers everything, you know, that I like, really. So I'm having good. a good time. Good. I'm kind of surprised they didn't have you enter in, in a sketch, like, in a TARDIS or using some kind of time They probably wouldn't have been able to do that because of copyright. Because, you know, there's that. The, you, you can do mock-ups of the TARDIS, mm -hmm. but if you do an actual real-looking TARDIS, you have to get copyright oh, from BBC Worldwide. And I they see. won't let you have it. We also don't have the budget for anything like that. So. No. Okay. no. No, I love that people are sitting... Molly versus Dave. <laughs> Molly vs. Dave are sitting there. Hey guys, you're having a brew. I enjoy that. I know you're waving at us. Yes, That's nice. It's live. Are you guys in a co are you in a dorm room or are you at somebody's house? I don't know, but they seem to be having a lot of fun wherever they are. You do. Just put your thumbs up if you're at the house. And then Red Ran Three is uh -huh. kind of good looking. He's a regular here. Is he? He's, yes, he's, he is. He's kind of hot looking. Oh, you just made his his day. Uh, the geeky spoon and and. Autumn Rain, and uh, we've got Carla underscore Martin mm -hmm. 69, and then who else? We've got Wowser Man. Wowser Man put his shirt back on, though. I, uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing. No. Oh. Yeah, I guess it depends on who you are. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> let me read here. Hi, John. Would love for you to join us in West Carolina. Da, da, da. And the, you guys, I'm getting invited a lot to a lot of different comic cons and, and cons around the country, in the U.S., both in Europe and also in Canada. I have to be, I have to choose them uh, at the moment because I don't have time to do every single yeah, one of them. you're so popular. Which is good. I like yeah. that. Well, it's a good thing you're immortal, so that way you can <laughs> well, 
<laughs> you know, I wasn't even thinking about Captain Jack when I said that. I was thinking about your joke about how you're 95 and look this amazing. So well, I just figured you were skin care. Yes. Good skin care. Him products. Yes. No, I don't stay out of the sun, actually. Really? No. I do. I wear, I wear sunscreen. Mm -hmm. A 50 sunscreen. Okay. What was your hardest culture shock moving to America? I guess it was the heat, to be honest with you, because we arrived in Chicago in the middle of the summer, and the heat, I remember walking off the plane and hitting me in the face. Yeah. Now, what, what part are you? Because I'm from that area, too. I grew up in Joliet, Illinois. Oh, okay. First of all, Aurora, Illinois. Mm -hmm. Garth. Yes. <laughs> We're the growers. And you know what? Sorry, this is like totally on a tangent. No, go for it. It's the internet. We can do it. If anybody out there has or knows anybody with a totally remodeled AMC Pacer, you have no clue what I'm talking about, do you? Is that the car? From it's the car that they had, but I'm looking for one. I, I would love to own a totally, totally done out, you know, really nicely done AMC Pacer. The big engine, not the small engine. So... Just let me know via Attack of the Show. I'd really yeah. appreciate it. Because I've been looking for one for years. Wouldn't the guys at uh, Top Gear be better to ask them about that? Yeah, they would. But you know what? They're not going to be into an old car. Uh, and they probably do something bad about it. I just like the windows on it. It's like It looks like the Jetsons car. That's what I really like about good. it. Yeah. Are you planning on putting on out a new CD soon? Yeah. No. No? Not for a while. Uh -huh. um, we're looking at a Christmas yeah. possibility. Uh, I'm doing a concert when I go back to the UK, a uh, tribute to Gene Kelly mm -hmm. and his music, because it would have been his 100th birthday, mm -hmm. so I'm looking forward to that, but um, no, not much of a, a CD yet. Okay. Depends how things go. We're thinking about bringing my concert tour to the US. I think you'd have a lot of fans here who would love to see that. Well, I say here, what we're going to be doing is putting the list of the cities that we are possibly going to go to, and I need, because I'm not as well known over here for my concerts, we need... 500 signatures for those cities so the promoters will go okay we'll get an audience so if you see your city and it'll be on my website johnbarrowman.com you can uh, just put your name to this thing we haven't done it yet but when we do it I'll tweet about it so join Fans, up it's up to you I really want to do them here and if you want me to do them because I guarantee you'd love the show it's really good fun I include Doctor Who and uh -huh. Torchwood and all sorts Great. of stuff into it so it's good fun do I like beer? No. Not a beer drinker. No. I'm a vodka tonic. Or vodka. I, the more I talk to you, the more I like a drinker. Vodka soda and a splash of lemonade. Just to sweeten it up. Sounds lovely. Especially in the summer. Uh, uh, where can you get the coat? Oh, you can get the coat. Captain Jack's coat you can either buy on... You can get it at actual um, uh, you know, surplus stores. Military surplus stores. But they are very expensive. And then you can also go to a Doctor Who Torchwood, uh, you know, like a fan store. I, I think if you look, if you look it up online, I'm not sure the actual name of the shop, but if you get it, I mean, and again, they are really mm -hmm. expensive. Okay. And that's you know, I have my own. I I had them when they were making the coat. I had them make me a hero coat, and nice. it cost a fortune because the material doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Don't know why. I've seen a lot of requests to hear your Scottish accent. I know, and the, the only I'll do I'll just do a wee bit for you because the only thing is, and, and I talk about it in my book. Mm -hmm. The reason why I don't do it is because Americans. Uh, I know you, that you like it, but sometimes it makes me feel like I'm on show. Mm. You know what I mean? Understandable. But I'll do it for you. That's he, well, he I just, just did. I just so did I hope it. you guys enjoyed that. Um. My favorite piece of memorabilia from Torchwood is a book that Captain Jack used to read when uh, ever I was in the hub and they would say, John, you need to make him look like he's doing something. I, pick, I would pick up this old sci-fi book and I would read it. And again, the title has gone out of my head, but many of you showed up to Dragon Con with copies of it and I signed it because I actually put that copy, in, a copy from the set in my bag and I have it in my box of treasures. So... Awesome. Tell us about Arrow. Are you involved in that? Yeah, I'm in Arrow. Really? Yeah. Tell yeah. us more. I can't. I can. I can. Know, I can it's coming out. And Listen, if you go fun. this Friday, um, uh, uh, there's the Nerdist podcast, mm -hmm. which uh, Chris Hardwick. Mm -hmm. uh, I went down. I I invaded it this afternoon. Yeah. So I'm on the, downstairs. I'm on the podcast this Friday, and we had a good laugh. I talk a little bit about uh, Arrow on the podcast. Mm -hmm. But also, what I can tell you is my character is called the Well-Dressed Man, 
I'm commuting between Vancouver and at the moment, you know, Los Angeles, but I'll be going back to the UK next week and I'll be going back and forth, you know, a little bit to, now, you know, yeah. I, sleep in downtime on a plane is good. And, uh, it, so he's a well-dressed man and basically he goes in and he, uh, F's everything up. That's what I'm going to say. I like it. I'm not going to swear. Now I have a reason to watch it. Yeah. I'm excited now. Well, good. A lot of people have said that they're going to watch it because I'm on it, but I don't come on until episode three. But okay. you got to watch the first couple episodes so, because if you don't, it doesn't do well. The network won't pick it up. Three. Everyone watch yeah. it. Uh, do you like Vancouver? Vancouver's lovely. I love cities that are particularly green. Me too. And Vancouver's very green. And uh, where was I the other day? That was uh, Atlanta is very green. Yeah. Believe it or not, you know. About that. When I was up in the West, I was staying at the West End, and I'm looking, but they put me on the 69th floor, which is pretty funny. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and looking down on it, and it was, it was very green. But Dragon Con, by the way, for all of those of you who were at Dragon Con and came to see my panels and wanted autographs and stuff, I just want to say thank you very much, because it was an awesome time. And if, I've already been asked back. Yay! Which is great. So, it's that far ahead, and maybe I can book it in. Who is a? Uh, is there? A, I think we. It's, they're going. They're you? going so fast. I can scroll back up for you. If you if Why don't you pick a question? Me. Okay. Yeah. Um. Well, that's just what I was going. On. You like that? No, well, because I, oh. I didn't. I, I only did my own. <laughs> what was it like working on the producers? The producer. Because a couple of people did ask about the producers or said that they loved you in it. So. The producer. I only did one number. I did a uh, springtime for Hitler, and I was dressed in a blonde outfit as a Nazi, mm. and. Uh, Blondes have more fun. Do you have a favorite Doctor Who episode? Um, not really because, and I don't say it because I don't like any of them, but <laughs> more, all of them, you know, mean something different to me. And if I, if you choose one, I mean, if you have to say it, uh, I guess it would be the first time Jack, it was Empty Child when Jack was introduced. That would always have to be if the favorite would be the first time you were introduced to the audience. Yeah. Because from that point on, every, you know, my life changed. Everything yeah. changed completely. So... It's uh, it's hard to choose the, the the favorite, but if I have to, I'll say the first one because that's when Jack was introduced. Um, is there? Let me just see. Would I've never? I don't know if I kissed Matt Smith like I kissed David Ted because I don't don't know Matt very well. Uh, Matt's a doctor I haven't worked with, and David obviously we worked very very uh, close together on Doctor Who and he was here a few weeks ago was he? yeah Matt Meyer was interviewing him it was it was hilarious well, David was yeah David was here oh yeah, he the tenant yes the tenant everyone was so excited and a bunch of us like snuck downstairs because we're all like you know Doctor Who fans that's so. exactly yeah although I gotta say um, on behalf of fangirls everywhere one of the best kisses on TV was definitely you and James Masters and I am jealous of you for getting to kiss James Masters. A lot of people. I think that man is so sexy. Yeah, a lot of people say that, but there's um, because that kiss kind of came from nowhere. It was yeah. not what you. No, 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 I don't mean it came from nowhere. We well, knew it okay. was going to happen, but it was it was not what the audience expected, mm -hmm. which is the way to blow everything away. It's mm -hmm. totally awesome, and uh, uh, yeah, no, James, uh, we had a really good time doing that, mm -hmm. and James is a good guy. Yeah, he's, he's awesome and a, and a, a very you know an icon of sci-fi. So you know how can you fault? You can't fault that, can you? Nope, nope. Now just now it's five thirty. Normally we wrapped up now, but if you want to stay a few more minutes, you're I'm fine to, to stay a few more minutes. Stay, not at all. A few more questions. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it out there. You guys ask, I, you know, let's try asking some random questions yes. as opposed to the obvious questions because. You know, if you want some of those obvious answers, you can go to my website and I have a whole list yes. of them. But um, uh, if there's randoms, briefs, okay. definitely. Briefs. And if you watched Attack of the Show yesterday, I presented a whole segment in my underpants. Yes. Uh, favorite sandwich is a ham and cheese, uh, <laughs> and I like it toasted. Obama, definitely. No way, Romney. If you want diversity in the culture, and having lived away from the United States for a little while and coming back, the world doesn't want a Republican. They just don't. Sorry, that's me political. And also, I thought the the Democratic Convention, you know, my, my take on, so you've got me in a tangent here, my take on uh, uh, Mitt Romney, he said in one of his videos at the Republican Convention how he, 
you know, he doesn't understand love because it happened to him, but he knows that he's in love and blah, blah, blah. If you don't understand it, then why are you making a judgment and not allowing other people to love each other? So shut your mouth. And if you want people to vote for you or want other things to change, these, you know, they call it the grand old party and old being the operative word. They need to come up in the modern times and they need to change their policy on people because you know what? We're not all straight laced. Christian. Repu Christian Republicans. We're yes. not. That's me said my political stuff. So I'm an Obama man. Yeah. That's one of the things I love about you. You're just you're blunt. You just. But why would you? Yeah. yeah. But why? I don't understand why people wouldn't be honest about stuff. I don't know. And if I don't want to talk I, I about things, people are concerned about like offending others, and maybe it's a culture thing. I don't. I know. learned something really early on in my career, and it was something somebody told me. And I'm sorry, I'm I'm just rambling here, but I, I'm sure you appreciate it. Not everybody's gonna like you. That's true. And the moment you can accept that, that not everyone's going to like you, the easier life is to live. Mm -hmm. And the fact of the matter is, they may not like me, but I would hope they would respect my opinion and things. You know, they might not have to agree with it, but as I have to listen to someone else's opinion, mm -hmm. they need to listen to mine. And sometimes that doesn't happen. But um, I don't know why more people aren't honest. If they're, um, why be afraid? Why live your life in fear? It's crazy. Um, what else? Favorite ice cream is usually, it depends. I like peanut butter uh, and chocolate. Yum. Okay. And sometimes what I do is take uh, Reese's peanut uh -huh. butter, uh, the, not the cups, but the bar, uh -huh. break it over vanilla and put uh -huh. it in the microwave and melt it uh -huh. down a little bit and then put some hot fudge sauce on it. I'm going to have to try that now. Yeah. Bob's your uncle. Delicious. <laughs> oh, they're rambling in now. What's that bad food? You people are sick. Um, wow. Wow. Favorite pizza topping. I have two favorite pizzas. I like double pepperoni or I like Texas chicken barbecue. Nice. Oh, they slowed down there. Did you see that? It comes Fav goes. Favorite book is The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. Mm -hmm. And my uh, in my autobiography, Anything Goes, I, th I reference it quite a bit. I reference Pony Boy and his becoming a man. And uh, it was something that I really connected with when I was growing up and, and going from boyhood to manhood. Um, except my manhood didn't start until I was 30. I was a boy, I was a kid until I was 30. Um, stay gold. That's right. Nature's first green is gold. It's hardest for you to hold. It's early leaf of flower, but only so an hour. Uh, what's the next bit then? Help me out here. Help me out. Then leaves, uh, something, da 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 then dawn goes down today and nothing gold can stay. So mm -hmm. I forgot a line in there, a line or two. But it's, uh, one of my English teachers in high school, Mark Wilson, mm -hmm knew that that was my favorite and he gave me that poem framed mm -hmm. uh, oh. as a gift and uh, I still have it so nice. yeah will I be in New York Comic Con Comic Con no but I'll be in New York on Friday I'm going over to do a, uh, some auditions for uh, a TV show I might be doing with BBC America mm -hmm. oh cool so I'm doing holding auditions. So do you think you're going to go back to theater at all? Or do you, are you enjoying TV right now? Like, is that what you want to focus on? No, I don't, I don't say I want to focus. Uh, you know, I, I like, I like working. Yeah, don't y'all. You know, and if I have time to do theater, um, hey, AutoZone, looking good, bud. <laughs> <laughs> um, if, I, if I, um, if, if I go into theater, you have to really go in for a year, yeah, you know, yes. and a lot of other opportunities will pass by. So I think I would like to do theater, but I'd like to do it for shorter runs. I would like to do Lacage again, because I'd like American audiences to see Lacage. Hey, what is Lacage? Because I'm not familiar with Lacage. Fall is the story of a, a couple, a man, two men, you know, a gay couple who run a nightclub in uh, the south of France, and one is a drag queen. And the other one is the MC of the club, okay. and the part I played was the drag queen. Yes. And their son is getting married to a conservative right wing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yes. never get left and right, right. Uh, conservative right wing politician's daughter, and the son doesn't want the father, one of his dads, who's mm -hmm. a drag queen, around when they're right. introduced. Mm -hmm. If any of you saw the Bird Cage uh, with Nathan Lane and Robin Williams. That movie was based on Lacage. Oh, okay. But the song "I Am What I Am" is from Lacage, and it's m seriously powerful, and it's a lovely story, and I'd love to do it. Do you have any recordings of it? You can go online and on YouTube, and you can look up John Barrowman okay. "I Am What I Am" and do it. Do that. John Barrowman "I Am What I Am" Zaza, and you'll see Zaza. me in drag. I'm so. Auto Zone's going to be doing that. Auto Zone's like, dude, I'm going to pass on that one. Head in drag. <laughs> 
Uh, Anthony Head. Yes. Yeah. You've seen him, Frankenfurter? Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Totally amazing. All right. Two more questions, and I gotta go. Boobs or butt? What do you think? Listen, as a gay man, I like boobs, but not real. You know, they're nice you to look at. Them. I appreciate boobs, boobs, but I prefer butt. Yeah, me too. Two butt people. Mm -hmm. From Chicago. Yeah. So, do I work out a lot? No, I swim. I try to nice. swim when I, uh, I, whenever I possibly can because it's, uh, uh, you know, I, and that's just it. I try to swim. And I love swimming because it's quiet time. Mm -hmm. No one can talk to me. Right. And all I can hear is the water right. and my breathing. Mm -hmm. And it's really awesome. It's your me time. And it's good for singing. Mm, good to know. Uh, Let's oh, make it a good one. Make it our good last question. <laughs> oh, go back, go back. Okay, okay. Go back. Everyone, so, stop, talking. stop, stop talking for two seconds. So here it is. Here's that. Then leaf subsides to leaf, so Eden sank to grief, so dawn goes down to day, nothing gold can stay. Thank you, Supernatural Girl. Thank that you. That was awesome. Awesome. That was really awesome. All right. Well, I'm going to thank you, Mr. John Berriman, for joining us. Thank you very much. This was so cool. I was very excited to have you. I'm a big fan. And so are clearly everyone else here. So thank you for joining us. And if you ever want to, if you do uh, you know, connect to my Twitter page, sorry, that was the music playing because you get made me hard now, but I cut you off. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, uh, myself and my partner Scott do, uh, it's underneath, at Team Bar underscore Barrowman. My partner and I do live tweet casts, and if we miss them, you can go back and watch them later. And I guarantee you, they're always good fun. Awesome. Thank you. Bye. See you all later. Lots of love. Bye. Bye, Bye Internet.